now this movie is my cup of tea. <laughs> so did you grow up on canon films, uh, sleaze flicks, you know, like Vice Squad, Savage Streets, movies like that? Did you grow up on trauma movies? Boy, do I have a movie for you. This is a movie that's directed by Joe Begos. It's called VFW. This movie stars Stephen Lang, Bill Sadler, Fred Williamson, George Went, Martin Cove, David Patrick Kelly as a group of guys who hang out in their local VFW. Stephen Lang's a bartender. They all sit around. They swap stories. They watch videos. They get drunk. Only problem is they're across from an early they're across the street from an early '80s action movie. There is a new drug that's out on the street that is zombifying our nation's youth. And what, what happens is, is the leader of this gang, he kills the sister of another girl. And as revenge, this girl steals all of this guy's drug supplies. And then this guy and his gang are chasing this girl away, trying to kill her, trying to get their drugs back. She goes and hides out inside this VFW. And then all the guys in there basically got to protect her, hold on to the drugs, and keep all of these gun-toting, axe-wielding, knife-wielding maniacs from getting from getting inside inside of their bar. What I love about this movie is that it's certainly a throwback. You can tell that from the plot. You can tell that from the opening credits to the music to the the special effects. The casting itself. This is a movie made by somebody who grew up on the same kind of movies I did and grew up loving the same kind of movies that I did. And in doing that, the movie is very, very authentic. It's very genuine. It's not self-aware. It's not really meta. It's not winking at the camera or anything like that. There's not these modern day special effects going on in the movie the the action sequences are very suspenseful and the cast certainly well cast and it's very cool to see all these guys together and playing off of each other and they're also playing real characters who have these very deep and cool monologues with each other and conversations their chemistry is great they're given a chance to to actually you know make something of these characters that they have like in the first 20 minutes of setup we have here before the violence takes over you really get a feel of who these individual characters are about so it's less that like uh oh it's cool they got bill sadler for this movie and more yeah it's very cool they got him for this movie and that he gets to play this real three-dimensional character as well and really, really show some chops. That's especially cool when you got people like Martin Cove in this movie, who I've certainly still consistently seen and stuff over the years, but it's like the last movie I saw him in was Karate Christmas Miracle that was stock footage from another movie. Um, before that, it was probably... The Life Zone. Fred Williamson. I, I want to say one of the last things I saw him in was one of the War on Christmas movies. I, I can't remember if it was Last Ounce of Courage or Christmas with a capital C. One of the two. They are practically the same movie. And to see them in this and given a lot to do and a lot to work with, that shows this movie is made by... A very genuine writer who wants to give these guys very, very good material. Like, it doesn't stop at just, oh, it's cool we got these guys in this movie. And the special effects, too, are outstanding. The violence is great. The practical effects they use in this, from head crushing to amputations to heads exploding due to shotgun blast. It's cool. Like, it's... it's insanely well done and very impressive in the movie as well as the again the music the music feels very appropriate to the kind of movie that this is trying to be like an like a, an early 80s low budget 
B movie. This feels like the kind of movie that you'd see that that would have been made and released like in 1982, 1983, but takes place like in 1991 or 92. <laughs> <laughs> like it would open by saying like you know the near future los angeles in 1992 <laughs> hey if it was if it was canon it would probably also it'd be like the apple as well and it might might be a musical <laughs> like the, the canon did near future movies well you, you know you'd either get you know a very hardcore b action movie or in the case of the apple a, a very very catchy musical i mean this movie it it certainly reminds you of of other things because again it's it's a throwback to you can tell a, a lot of movies that this guy loves like Assault on Precinct Thirteen. The movie has a lot in common with Assault on Precinct Thirteen. It's a siege movie of all these people together in one small area, and there is a giant violent gang outside it, trying to trying to break in, and we've seen that recently too done well as as well with movies like green room the way the villains are in the movie the way their their look their leather jackets the, the bright colors around not just the bar but outside in the streets as well it has a very exterminator 2 vibe and with the character that stephen lang plays in the movie if, if this had been if this had been a canon film from the 80s It'd be a it'd be a Charles Bronson movie. <laughs> it'd be a Charles Bronson movie and and a very very cool one as well. And having Fred Williamson there too, again you can tell there's some love thrown towards From Dusk Till Dawn as well. This movie I highly recommend this movie. I thought this movie was a blast. I thought the characters were great. It was awesome. See, again, seeing them interact with each other, play off of each other. They have very well acted scenes. It was funny, you know, seeing this bar set movie and George Went is there as if it's a very dark night happening over it, over it cheers. So, yeah, I, if you get a chance to see this movie, whether it's in theaters in a limited run, I, I know it's coming out on DVD uh towards uh, the end of the end of march i i believe so find a way to to check this movie out i absolutely recommend this movie this movie was it's my kind of film it's my kind of action movie it was a very very delightful throwback it's like <laughs> it's like the expendables of of this of this kind of movie honestly it's a it's a better expendables than it's a better expendables than the expendables so all right follow us on twitter over at twitter.com slash the cinema snob and subscribe to us on youtube at youtube.com slash stone gremlin productions and contribute over to our patreon as well at patreon.com slash the cinema snob we'll see you next time